Hi, so today I want to talk to you about why I think your home is not an asset and it's based on a blog post that I wrote a while ago which without a doubt was my most commented blog and I received the most emails over so I thought I'd turn it into a video and get your thoughts. Now it all started when I had a friend come and visit me in Ibiza from Australia and he was talking about he was planning on buying a property in Melbourne to live in and he thought it was a really smart investment for his cash and he was surprised when I had a different view. And I've been asked about homes lots of times before and I've been asked about whether people should invest in them or not. Uh, so I thought it would be good to kind of talk about it a little bit more. Now, Your Home is Not an Asset was kind of written about by Robert Kiyosaki in his book Rich Dad Poor Dad from 1997, which if you've never read, I highly recommend. And it caused quite a stir amongst financial aspect, uh, experts even back then. Two decades later, since he wrote that, some parts of the world are still recovering from the global recession caused by the crash in the housing market. And people are beginning to realize that maybe there is some merit to this statement. So house here refers to your primary residence. I'm not talking about investment property that you might rent out. I'm talking about the home that you buy that you live in. And most people still believe that their house that they live in is an investment. And your home might be many things. It might be a shelter for your family, a place for security, but it's not an asset. So why is your house not an asset? Why do I think this? Well, firstly, it doesn't generate any cash flows. So if we look at an asset as a resource that generates cash flow and a liability as something that's a drain on cash flows, then it becomes clear why your house should not be thought of as an asset. So even if you're mortgage free and you own your own home, you still have to pay for upkeep, taxes, utility bills. So this means your house isn't making money, but it's actually taking money out of your pocket. It's a drain on your funds and actually technically it's a liability. If you've got a mortgage, then your house is actually the bank's asset. And in this circumstance, your house is working for the mortgage provider and is not earning you a single penny. Now, you might think that you can get cash out by borrowing against your home, uh, you know, like when you remortgage to release equity. But again, this is a false perception of security, as all you're doing is creating more debt. And at some point, this borrowed money will have to be paid back. So many people believe that because they sold the house for more than initial purchase price, they automatically made a good investment. So let's look at a simple example. So let's say you bought your home 10 years ago for £180,000 and you decide to now sell it for £210,000. So on the face of it, you're like, great, I made £30,000 on my investment. That's three grand a year, right? Not bad. But if it costs you £1,000 a month for your mortgage, home insurance, life insurance, etc., another £200 for service and utilities, that's £144,000 over 10 years to walk away with £30,000. So that's assuming that house prices have increased steadily over the period and not taking into account if you've had to make any routine or major repairs. You look at it that way, it's not a good investment. So very few people actually buy their primary residence with the intention to sell it again in the future. And even if you did sell it with a reasonable profit, that money is probably going to go towards buying another home, not necessarily to fund your lifestyle, pay for your children's education or to go on holiday. It's effectively trapped equity and therefore can't be considered an investment, in my opinion. So yes, there's many good reasons why you should buy a home. I love my home here in Ibiza uh, and this sense of security it gives me and my wife, but I don't consider it to be a reliable asset or a savvy investment. 
For that, I look at other things. I look at things like low-cost tracker funds. I might even look at investment properties, but I wouldn't consider my own home. So getting back to Robert Kiyosaki, what he said is invest for cash flow, not for appreciation. And I definitely recommend that everybody go and read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, because if you've not, I think it will definitely change your perspective on personal finances. Definitely had a big impact on me a long time ago, and I often kind of go back to some of the core principles there. So let me know what you think. Do you think your home that you live in is an asset?